This is Jack Mullman, and we're in O'Fallon, Illinois, which is uh, near St. Louis, actually at near my home, in my home. And it's December 2nd, 2011. We have a rather interesting person here, not necessarily well-known worldwide, but certainly well-known out in the New Jersey, New York area, John Beretta. We welcome you here, and uh, you're, you. you're here uh, for a concert over the weekend. You're an organist. You're a, are you a technician as well? No, not a technician. Well, t teacher. T tell us how you first got started in music, and then we'll see how you get to the organ. Okay. Um, well, I basically started with piano first um, at the age of seven. And uh, actually began originally in Brooklyn, where I used to live. Uh, and they actually taught piano as part of a school program. And when from that to private lessons, and stayed with the piano for uh, actually my entire life, but once the Catholic Church, where I attended, changed to the new Mass, I finally got a chance to hear the organ at age 11. And I thought that that was such a great sound, that's when I began my interest in organ, and basically started in church. Now, how did you get into the theater organ side of this? That was interesting. Um, most of my training wound up being in classical organ and classical piano. Well, in order to work my way through college, I needed a job. So I decided I was going to go to one of the roller skating rinks where I heard that they played the organ. And I basically started with playing music for roller skating. And that one thing led to the other, and that brought me into the theater organ world. Well, that's sort of challenging playing for roller skating because you have tempo disciplines. Absolutely. Everything had to be played with the metronome, um, certain tempos for certain dance steps, because uh, they did teach uh, dance steps and, and skating and so forth. Uh, so, uh, but I was used to the metronome because I used that on my piano studies and so forth. I did, I did a skating rink once. I announced around all skate go at your own risk. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was, it, was, it was a great experience, but that did, uh, one thing led to the other, and then before I, I realized, I discovered the world of theater organ, and that's, but that's basically how I got started. Now, you're, you're one of the organists where these days? Uh, well, I, I'm the uh, house organist for the uh, Paramount Theater in uh, Middletown, New York. I had been the uh, house organist for the Newton Theater, uh, for a number of about eight years. I also was the house organist for the Lafayette Theater, uh, still an associate organist for the Lafayette Theater, also in New York. Um, and yes, at this point now, I'm doing silent films and concerts locally and, so, and things like that. Well, you've been written up as being an educator with uh, music and, and the organ. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've done in that area? Sure. Um, well, I spent 30 years as a high school band director and but being an organist as well once I got involved with the American Guild of Organists I wound up going on their board and uh, also going on to the uh, New York Theater Organ Society board what I kept hearing from both sides was we would like to attract more young people to this um, having a dozen or so private students all teenagers and so forth, which basically came from them seeing me at the, uh, the theater or at the church, I guess I offered something different to these two organizations, and it, I just felt, you know, we, we need to bring the organ to, to, to the kids, because there is an interest there, but it, it has fallen out of the mainstream. So I guess I used a lot of my, my skills, and I guess being trying to be as persuasive as possible, um, from teaching band to teaching organ and piano. Um, so what we did, together with the Garden State Theater Organ and, and the New York Theater Organ Society, we purchased a, uh, a touring organ and we would actually go to schools and I would do concerts that presented both classical and popular organ music to basically the music students in the school and what would happen was very unique. Um, for most of them, 
uh, they've never seen anything like this before, and or it was so old it's new again. And um, we began to feel, find what I had suspe suspected, and that was that there is an interest. They just don't know it exists. So one thing led to another. Um, through donors and uh, of, of monies and so forth, um, an organ was installed in Roosevelt High School up in Hyde Park, New York. Uh, a larger three manual uh, Allen theater organ. And what we've done is we've actually started an organ curriculum. Uh, there's about a dozen or so students studying organ with me. Um, and I understand there's a waiting list. So it's sponsored by uh, the New York Theater Organ Society. Uh, but the school has been very gracious about allowing us to come in. And it's a growing program. And I'd love to see some, this idea get started in other schools in other states. Maybe something that uh, some of the larger uh, organ associations might want to be involved with. Well, we don't know who's going to be watching these uh, videos. I'm hoping we're going to have most of them on YouTube. But to some aspiring youngster that just happened on this uh, video, what would be some advice you would give them to get them interested in the music, in, in the music at all, or the organ, or what would you tell them to encourage them if they happen to be watching this? Don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to listen to something different. Um, listen, there are so many things on YouTube uh, dealing with organ. As you scroll through the, the YouTube uh, presentations, take a minute. Don't be intimidated by the mechanics of it. If it's something you love, go after it. Well, very good. Well, John, we uh, thank you for taking time. John Beretta from New Jersey, works in New York, uh, <coughs> East Coast guy. <laughs> Um, we thank you for being here and we wish you well on everything that you do in, in the future to get the young people, even the old people, into, into this uh, art form. So this is Jack Molman, O'Fallon, Illinois, December 2nd, 2011. Thank you very much, John. Thank you.